I'm open. I'm, open. I'm freaking open. What's up? We open. are open, except for dear friend Ryan Lieberman. He is not open today. He's closed, yeah. in fact. Closed welcome, from business. Welcome to the I'm Open pod. Yeah, we've got Andrew, Joe, Sam. Ryan texted us late today that he has a, quote, diarrhea emergency and cannot make the pod. Um, so we will, well, yeah, send him well wishes. Send him your best. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let Go him on Twitter. Comments. Hashtag <laughs> Ryan's diarrhea problems. Just let him know you're thinking about him. One subscribe <laughs> equals one prayer for Ryan. Yeah. If you subscribe, you can save Ryan from his bowels that are fighting him right now. Uh, um, if if you'll notice, the three of us all have different backgrounds today. Oh my god! Moving gang, moving gang. Yeah, Sam, I think moved like a month ago, and Alu and I just—I don't know—I'm not even finished doing everything yet, but most of the way through a move. Should we tear our backgrounds real quick? Tear tearing backgrounds. Mine's just my shelf with all my clothes on it, so I think I'm at the bottom. Joe's up there. You look learned. Give myself that. Joe has oh, books. Thank you. I like yours. I like your plants and your your uh, exposed brick. Exposed brick does yeah. kind of nudge me, maybe I ahead. Think, but I think yours stuff. has has the better lighting too. Mine's a little I, dark back there. I I tried to fix it. it, it it's just not going to happen. I just I just have the overhead light on. Yeah, this is this is my temporary setup. I just moved um two days ago, and I'm on. I'm just in my bedroom, but I have like an office. My desk is not here yet. Um, actually, perfect segue. Uh, if you subscribe and uh, give us money, then I can. Sam still doesn't have a chair. Um, mm-hmm. I don't have a desk. We're we're struggling out here. Like we need we need you to give us money, please. I don't have I don't have a mirror. I have no idea what I look like anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows? Who knows? Subscribe so, times three, and so I subscribe. Can get a mirror. Subscribe, buy our merch, and and help us. Uh, Sam needs still doesn't have a chair. I need a desk. Yep. And Joe doesn't even know what he looks like anymore. So, and and Ryan needs thoughts and prayers. And yeah. yeah. Um. All right. So, with all that out of the way, we are going to talk about uh D one college nationals that happened this weekend. A couple AU deal games that happened, also, mm-hmm. and then we're going to get into next week's lines as usual. Um. But I wanted to start us off with a little chart. Um, I've been doing some some data analysis, if you will. Oh. Um, so here uh. is a graph that shows uh, in the 2021-22 season, UNC won four national titles. Mm-hmm. And this past weekend, they won two, which makes two for the entire season. But if you follow that trend line, we're looking at zero next season and negative two championships the Mm. following season so if you're a unc fan you you might have to be concerned that's worrying that's worrying if i'm a unc fan today i'm in a bad mood because of this (laughs) (laughs) i'm very sad (laughs) yeah like there's nowhere to go but straight down so how do you get negative two is that like in 24 25 they're like They'll get they'll uh someone will get busted for selling signed jerseys or something and they'll revoke the titles oh, like Reggie Bush be. style or whatever. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> I'm just predicting the future with this graph. I can't, you know, say how these things will get done, but I mean, wow. even next season, them winning zero is hard to imagine, but it's in the data. So well, you you can't argue with I trust the, it. the stone cold numbers. Mm-hmm. Numbers don't lie. Numbers don't have feelings. Like, grow up, okay? This is the reality. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Excellent work, Sam. I'm yeah, thank really you. well done. Really thank well you. done. Um. Anyway, yeah, I don't really know what we're going to talk about specifically, but we all spent a lot of time watching College Frisbee this weekend, so if anyone has a pressing thought, please blurt it out. So I'm going to say my, my, my first thought is that I could not log in to my goddamn whatever ulti world account. It would just keep sending me to some error page and it didn't matter whether it was my phone or my computer. It I would just get an error page. It wasn't even like 
I, I it wasn't even like I typed in a password and it was like wrong password. It was just like I would click to go to the login page and it would just be like error. You're not allowed to do that. And then every time it would like hours later, I would be it would let me do it. I would type in my username and password and then it would just go back to that error page. I don't know. I don't that know. That sucks. I don't know. I'm gonna I have a question for the two of you, and then I'm going to extend that question just to anyone who's listening right now. If you're listening to this podcast, um, I'm really curious. Did you know before watching like your first game, you go in and you're like, okay, I'm going to watch a game right now. Um, did you know that you had to subscribe to a different package to watch one of the field pass games just individually? Did you know that? Because I didn't. I, I learned not. that when I was like watching the field pass and I was like, let me just watch this one. And then I, yeah. you know, tried to click to it. And then it was like, you don't have the the plus whatever. I didn't know that no one said that. Like, did anyone know going into the tournament that you needed that? I'm, I'm fascinated to see if like anybody knew that already. Did you guys know? I, I did certainly not. did not. Okay. I thought I had like the, the premium account. And so I was, I was already annoyed that I couldn't just log into my yeah. account and then I couldn't do that, which I was like, I was like, <laughs> you have a different I, problem. <laughs> I, I can't believe I like cheaped out on the account. And it, it turns out I didn't, I just mm -hmm. like, didn't know that there was an, a new highest level, I guess. Please tweet at us or at ringer that ulti or just comment. Uh, if you already knew that and tell me how you heard that, because I don't think anyone, I'm not expecting anyone to, but like, what the heck? What what was that? Like and you could before you could watch like the individual game, it just wouldn't have commentary, which was kind of cool. I kind of liked you just kind of heard the sounds on the field and like I think at um uh club nationals, you could watch mm -hmm. the individual games. Um Yeah. Obviously there was a the showcase game, but that was for free anyway, right? Like or was it? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. If I it assumed was for free, it, I actually. assumed it wasn't, but I don't actually know that. I, I don't want to. I don't want to. I think some of them were for free, but not all of them. I don't want to. Some of them were on, on YouTube. Uh, I don't want to shit on Ulti World too much because also I do appreciate Field Pass. It's still, an, I think it's it, amazing. Think yeah, Field it's Pass great. is great. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, Ulti World. I was just in a bad mood because I couldn't log in. Yeah, that that sucks. I yeah, no, I don't want to pile on. I just I think that's a criticism that everyone yeah. kind of has. Like, yeah, I agree. You, know, you didn't tell us, like. Which is like, I maybe I, I don't think I would have gotten it anyway, but like, l you know, let us know, I guess. Or yeah. like, if you're trying to make money by like doing that, like advertise it, like it was just kind of weird. Um, mm -hmm. I thought, but you. yeah, no, their, their coverage is great. Like I can watch all these yeah. games. It's awesome. But like, you know, that was just kind of weird. Anyway, that's not yeah, Frisbee. I'm though. with you. I'm with you. Frisbee wise, what are we yeah. doing? Frisbee wise, well, uh, I'll just say that I was pleasantly surprised by georgia doing well yeah stick it up for the southeast um and then uh you know not to brag but i did win our predictions thing and i think in part that was due to me sensing that north carolina state would be really bad mm. Mm. um and so part of that is i talked to uh jonah one of our former teammates who went to georgetown this year and played in that region um and apparently i hadn't heard about this but apparently there was some weird uh deal with like the last bid that their region got because it originally went to the you know like california region but then a bunch of games got vacated for a school in that atlantic region and then after those were vacated they're like whatever ranking score or whatever mm -hmm. was like way higher and they earned a bid Whoa. randomly, That's and then crazy. North Carolina State took it. So, <laughs> yeah. Wow. So anyway, I was just like, yeah, I think they're going to be bad. And also, I think it is the funniest thing in the world that their team is called Alpha, and they go to nationals every year and they cheer on their in-region rival to <laughs> win the fucking championship. They just sit in the little stands. They go, yeah, go UNC. <laughs> like, come on yeah that is that is, so, that is super funny yeah i would say all right boys time for a name change but like i sit on my fucking ass watching the games too so <laughs> <laughs> i can't <laughs> yeah um 
Wait a second. Okay. Who beat you and who beat North Carolina in pool play? What? How did I not hear about that? Is that a mistake? Oh, yeah. They had a no, they had a game that didn't matter. I think it was uh, UC Santa Cruz beat them because they already had the pool locked up. Oh, that's um, fucked. yeah. They were they were talking about during the final how UNC and UMass both had a game like that, and UMass just kind of played it right like any other game just to get the reps and whatever. But I mean, UNC just doesn't need to do that, I guess. Yeah, okay, that's badass. So they knew. So I, I'm assuming they beat Georgia, and that was the tiebreaker or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. Damn. I'm not. You know, I don't know. I'm. I'm not a fan of like sitting. Well, I mean, if the game, I just think, I just think like you have to keep the momentum. Like you just have to treat every game like the same. And if you're like, oh, Burpader, yeah. I'm going to sit these out. But I guess maybe you, like UNC is just the exception because they're just, they're just that good. Like I, I generally agree with you, but I also think like these tournaments are tough. It's a lot of games in the day. Yeah. And like winning three, winning your first three games, and then you know maybe having either sitting or just like not playing like wild hard for that last game is probably not gonna like counteract those other three games that you just played that were super hard and intense. Right. Also, especially if you're UNC and you're just very good. But because um, I I only say that because I know that Pitt did the same thing. Like I saw a tweet and it was like so and so so and so like their top players are like wearing their like not wearing their cleats mm-hmm. and like i think they lost to cornell mm-hmm. um God, or cornell something looked dookie in some yeah. of games too <laughs> but yeah. they just lot like they i don't know they just threw their scrub and then but pitt just isn't you know pitt's not unc yeah pitt's, so. yeah yeah and then they folded basically but they lot they won their did pitt win their first uh bracket no they, they, they got were, the bye. no yeah, they lost so they lost. Not. So they lost right. So the last. Yeah, they lost correct, the last two games. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so they lost the um second to last game because they were like, we gotta, you know, we, well, we assuming rest that, our starters. Yeah, assuming that's and then, when and then, Pitt did it. Yeah, and, the, and then they got their shit rocked like in the bracket. So like, I don't know. Maybe yeah. that would have. Maybe that would have happened anyway. But like, I don't know. Maybe there's something to like keeping your momentum like. Because if they just went and just like shat on Cornell and like that, that yeah. counts for something, you know, like that. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Yeah. There could be some truth to that for like, sure. It's hard, it's, yeah. it's hard. Like if you're that much better than a team that you think you need to rest your starters, like I, I, I like maybe play them and then take them out in the second half, but like get the I, win. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, honestly, like maybe the same thing can be said about UNC if they sat in their last game and then they, took brown to universe point yeah mm-hmm. brown brown took him to universe and brown lost to you know brown brown didn't have a perfect tournament by any means and they they probably went balls to the wall so it's just like you're and you, you're you're you have a buy and you're playing a team that just won and yeah. they're fucking stoked you know like mm-hmm. and they're thinking they can beat anybody because you're in the quarters of nationals like that's not really what I want to yeah. do. You know, I don't want to be flat footed. I didn't play another game. And then I'm like, you know, obviously like the tournament's long and it's hard, but like, you know, um, maybe, maybe there's some, maybe there's something to be said for, c- c- yeah. Brown had the best game against UNC out of anyone yeah. in the tournament, I guess, other than the one that they lost, obviously, but like, for sure, maybe th- there's something to be said for not f- punting those, those games, um, potentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I think I think that's fair. Um, speaking of Brown, this is something I said to Sam earlier this week, but um, I didn't know where their name came from, and I was wondering if Brownie in Motion was a poop joke. Uh, no. and Sam said it, it was is not. though. It, Sam said it wasn't. But they think um, it's not. I think, I but think it, it is. should be. I think it should be. <laughs> Brownie like some, in Motion is just such a good poop joke. It's some physics thing, and they like. Yeah. The thing is, okay, so S- Sam and I were at the Norco 2021 Nationals, and we were making Brown poop jokes. Like, the, we, we played Brown, and that's when they had, like, John Randolph and stuff. And we were making poop jokes the whole time. Like, 
you know, if it's brown, flush it down. Like <laughs> talking about poop, all of our cheers were poop related, uh-huh. and they didn't think it was funny at all. And their team name is Brownie in Motion. BM, yeah. come on, man! Oh, like yeah. your team is a poop, and like have a sense of humor about it. Like I don't know. That was that I was. I wonder. Uh, I wonder if the entire Brown team voted you guys the worst spirit. Pro- yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the worst why. spirit. Yeah, they hated us for it, and it's like, come on, guys. Like it's yeah. poop jokes. That's spirit yeah. of the game. That is okay, spirit. absolutely. Um, my, my my thoughts are that like you know once again like UNC is just like a cut above everybody. Um, they're just you know they're just doing something different that the other teams aren't. They have better talent, and they just. You you yeah. have to play fucking perfectly to be like neck and neck with them, basically, because you know they just they'll eat you alive. Their their person defense just like is really really tight, and they make everything hard. And their offense is like like seamless. It's like perfect. It's crazy. Like the chemistry's there. Athletes are there. Like they were just a cut above everybody, and they they cleaned up anyway. And same with the mm. same with the women. It's the same thing. It's like you have to be fucking yeah. perfect to beat them. And um anyway, we're on to the women's division, but like what do you, what do you guys think about what do you guys think about this? I'm annoyed because I thought Binghamton was actually kind of good. And they were super hot, but they hadn't really played anybody that was like super nice throughout the season and I was like feeling pretty good. I I think I put them third in the pool. Um because they've like dominated against like mostly like mid teams, but I, I felt, I felt good about them. Uh, and who would have thought that Colorado state UCLA and Binghamton would just, uh, they all just won one game against each other and lost everything else. So mm-hmm. I was a little bit, a little bit annoyed about that. Um, also I felt good about Northeastern, but mm. unfortunately finished two and two. I think I had them in my top two. I think I went Colorado, Northeastern, Stanford. Yeah. Yeah, they they had a lot of turnovers going on in yeah. the games. It was hard to tell because it seemed like some of the games were like super windy and then some of them were not. So it was hard to tell when that was like playing a playing a role. But I'm, I'm curious who beat um Colorado in pool in pool play because like I just I just see those like top four teams and then it's like there's those top four teams like you would see it was northeastern northeastern yeah on the universe Good for them yeah there's another so, uh we have the pool locked up game yeah, yeah. but it I, seems I, like maybe they yeah i don't know i think in them the difference between i like, obviously there's north carolina and everybody else but i think in the women's division it was like there's north carolina and then there's like Colorado, UBC and Vermont and then there's everybody else like that's kind of how it felt like yeah. it felt like there's a little like the men's division, it was like there's UNC, and then it's just like a lot of really good teams, and it's like you know could be mm-hmm. anybody's game. There's like I just didn't really know who was, you know, a lot of good teams. And then the women's division, it, it did feel kind of like there was like, like kind of, like in the upper echelon of teams, there was more like kind of tiers, which made it more interesting to me. Like Colorado was really good, British, like UBC in that semis, like they looked. Like their athletes were awesome. Um, mm-hmm. They looked really good. Vermont was really impressive. Like, um, yeah, I don't know. Like the there there were a lot more like really 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 good teams. I thought in the women's division. Yeah, I mean, I think Tufts was also really good and looked good all the way up until their game against um, UBC. I think yeah, UBC, mm-hmm. and they didn't even look that bad. They just like did not look up to the same standard as as British Columbia, but. They just I looked like, like, yeah. UBC, UBC just looked like they had bodies. They could throw out a line, and everyone yeah. would just go balls to the fucking wall. Like, yeah, they were crazy. Like, they were a scary team, and I just feel like they just ran into um, Colorado, which was kind of a buzz saw. But like, mm-hmm. you know, they kind of they pretty much just bowled over the competition the whole tournament, and then and then they ran into Colorado. But they looked really mm-hmm. good. Like, shout out to them. I thought they had an awesome tournament. Yeah, my yeah. one thing I was bummed about with the bracket was that uh, Stanford drew UNC so early because they their game against say, uh, the Colorado thing. was sick. Yeah, yeah. So I know it would have been nice I, to see like a run from from them. I know. I think Stanford could have beaten like 
Carlton or Tufts, like maybe UVM, one of those seeds that were like right above them because they looked nice. They looked mm-hmm. nice. And they, I think they beat um, Northeastern in their pool play game and like relatively handedly. Um, I think Stanford looked really good. Yeah. It looks like they gave UNC the best game of anyone. 15 10, 15 7, 15 4. 13 8. Yeah. And then they were 15 12. That's yeah. respectable. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. What a weekend. What a yeah, weekend. Right. Any, wow. any closing thoughts about college ultimate in general before we move on to the big bad pro league? Uh, congrats to Callahan winners. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Burnett and Hecko. Yeah. Yeah. Very hype. I think Hecko we expected. I think I think Burnett was maybe unexpected, but I don't I don't think there was like a an expected winner. And I liked I mean, I can't claim to have watched the entire season and say who the best player was, but I liked Burnett's video the most. Um this video is crazy. And that one fucking highlight that you showed me, Sam, where he reached around that guy and just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. On I think a frisbee field, and it was also the only video that you were in. It is, it's, <laughs> it is, yeah. Uh, I was never, you know, nominated for a Callahan <laughs> Award as I played D three, so I think it's like pretty reasonable to assume it's the only Callahan video I've ever been shown in. And since I was on the sidelines, it wasn't a highlight against me. You so know? you come out on top, like full. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, I'm the closest player to him. I'm right in between the mark and him. <laughs> I'm right center frame. It's it's great. I'm going to awesome. get that framed probably. <laughs> I, I thought that um is it is Justin Burnett, right? Mm-hmm. Justin. Okay, yeah. I thought Justin's yeah, video I thought it did the best job of like just showing well may, maybe it wasn't as much as the video, it was just him as a person. It just he, it just kind of seemed like the best athlete out of all of them, you know, like you just making plays that the other videos were really good. And those, those people all deserve to be final. All the other finalists, like totally deserve to be there. They were all awesome. For sure. Um, but man, like some of the stuff that, um, Burnett was doing was just like crazy, just pretty mind blowing stuff on a free yeah. field. Like, I, I don't know. I, I think he deserved it. Also, like I got really nervous because I realized when they were about to announce everyone's up there and I'm like, everyone else is here at nationals. Cause their team is there. I had, like, did I they, the same did they make this guy come out here to not give him this award? I was like, <laughs> kind of like the same thought. I know I was kind of nervous. I was like, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah. I, I had the same thought. And I'm 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 thrilled that Justin won. Um, well, I'm glad he won too. I wonder if there's like an argument to Emory not being as good as the other teams. And like, I don't really care. I think Justin deserved the award. So like, I don't really feel like there's a need to argue it. But just like, I don't know. Is there is there something to Emory not being at nationals with the other teams being there? I think that I think that college ultimate is so like skewed towards these teams that are really good and nationals contenders and all that. And there's just so much talent that is just like some guy you've never heard of. who's like the dude on a team. So, I mean, honestly, I think that Callahan is like one of the best ways to showcase people like that who Mm -hmm. are like incredibly sick. And if they just happen to go to like a UNC or a, you know, a Cal Poly recently, or, you know, a bigger Frisbee school, like everyone would see them and be like holy shit they're so good but like yeah i don't think you need to be on one of these like it's hard to make nationals you have to have like a really good team you have to have like 15 to 20 really good players so like i don't think it takes anything away yeah i mean especially him his video was fucking crazy i think there's a buy i i definitely think um i mean like i'm just saying this off off the dome like i haven't look this up or anything but i i feel like there's a bias towards um callahan nominees whose teams are currently at nationals or have been to nationals mm-hmm. because you just get more a you get more footage 
um, for sure. in, in, in more high quality footage. And also like, um, you're just kind of on pe- top of people's minds and the announcers saying your name and like, mm-hmm. you know, and so I think for someone to not be a nationals to win, I think it means like they deserved it even more because like they had to kind of go through all of that. And then, you know, it's harder to make a high quality video yeah, when you don't have totally all that agree. for nationals. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think you're, you're, you're kind of, um, you're, you're fighting an uphill battle if, if you're not a nationals, if as a Callahan nom- nominee, yeah. um, I know that, um, who, who won it in 2021? Because I remember Johnny Malks was a finalist and I was like, if, if William and Mary was at nationals and like the storyline was like Johnny Malks, like brought William and Mary to nationals, mm-hmm. I think he might've won. Um, I want to say it was, uh, his name's escaping me. The other Brown player who won it before John yes. Randall. Oh yeah. I have the real short name. Yeah. yeah. Not, not, not to say that like that dude yeah. didn't deserve it. Um, Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I'm thinking of a guy. Yeah, Aziz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aziz, yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah, of a different yeah, yeah. guy. Aziz was also fucking awesome. Okay, I don't want... Aziz deserved to win it. I don't want yeah. to get the... I don't want to send the wrong message, but, like, um, you know, it's it's hard. It's harder to win it if your team's not a national. So that's, that's definitely... Totally. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, so congrats, Justin. Uh, well deserved. Mm-hmm. And, of course, Abby Hecko as well. Washington, yeah, I mean, was, it was like Washington a no-brainer, right? was at Nationals. Yeah. I think they lost to Colorado. Um, yeah, they did. But yeah, I mean, Hecko was just so good. Yeah, I do want to say for Abby Hecko, I got to see her play in person. The only time I got to see her play in person was, again, like bringing up that fall Nationals, um, the women's semis. She just fucking went off against um, Carlton. And like... That was fucking amazing. Like she just like dominated them. The highlight plays were yeah. really cool. It was cool to be there in person. I was drinking some beers out of a sock in the stands. Uh <laughs> you know, it was fun. That was really cool. So congrats to her. Mm-hmm. Uh well deserved. And um, yeah, I don't know. What you guys got on that? I really liked her um her teaser trailer for her for her Callahan video. I That's when you know you're so, legit. If you have a teaser. I thought it, it was so hype. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, and then like her actual video, like all of her plays are amazing, but it was just not as hype <laughs> as her teaser trailer was. And like, don't get me wrong, I I love Taylor Swift as much as the next guy, right? So I was a I was a fan of the song. I was a fan of the highlights. But there just like was not the intensity where I was like, holy shit, like this is the best video I've ever seen. When mm-hmm. I was watching the teaser, I was like, oh my God. And then I watched the Callahan video and I'm like, yeah, this is this is good. It's fine. Yeah. It you know, you're great. Yeah. You deserve the award. But <laughs> you know, whatever. On on that note, I just want to say as a as an expert amateur video editor who has made many Callahan videos and many other stupid highlight videos that were not asked for you gotta sync yeah the contact in the play to the kick of the drum it's mm. yeah there was like that one to. spike that was like a half it makes second it before so much before better before a, a, a beat drop it was just like oh yeah it's so clear just push it just a little bit it's like yeah it's like when i'm watching that i'm watching amazing highlights and then I'm also listening to a song at the same yeah. time. It's not like I'm I'm watching amazing highlights where they've like incorporated the music into it, you know? I will say I, I think I'm the lone defector in thinking that her video was I wasn't obviously I'm not like I haven't made a single Callahan video. So I was like, um, this is hype. And I thought it was good. And then you pointed that out and I was like, okay, that's a that's a valid criticism. And I think um for me, it's like it was a great video. I thought it was hype, but like having it sync up, having the action sync up with the song, like uh, it really does like unlock some kind of like primal, like, yeah, yeah, you're just like, like it, it makes it next level. It makes Ooh. it, yeah, it makes it makes you go, oh fuck, like I gotta go, like I gotta go run right now. I gotta, like, I know, you know, <laughs> and like the highlights in there were so fucking nasty. She is so good at frisbee. I don't want to like shit on anyone's Callahan videos. <laughs> like these are just like 
college players playing Again, it's not amazing the award, frisbee the and award totally isn't a, deserve it but yeah it's the award the award itself is not i think people forget this the award is not a video contest you can yeah. win the award and not have a fucking video it's not about the video it's about like mm -hmm. how you are as a leader and like what you bring to the team it's it's like kind of a quasi mvp like um Heisman thing, but like it's yeah, not it's a video. There is. People treat it like a video contest, but it's not like at all. You could submit a Callahan nomination and not have a video. You know, mm -hmm. like the video. I think the video helps a ton, but like it's not. Um, again, like it's not. It's not a video award per se. So like these people as yeah. players, like clearly they're voted by their peers. Like what else can you argue with? You know, like yeah, these people teammates people who played against them everyone like all the players vote on this so like that's that's what it kind of comes down yeah. to so congrats to abby hecko and justin burnett absolutely yeah mm -hmm. the two anyway. those are the two I, those are the two i wanted to win for sure yeah. yeah it's it's pretty hype yeah i'm happy with that all, all right. right let's get into it yeah fuck all that we're back to the adl we had a week of adl games and there were only like eight because of college nationals, but, and also I don't think a lot of them, A, were surprising or B, uh, should have that much weight in the tier list. Yeah. But anyway, another week is in the book, so we must tier. Um, So let's That'd tier. Be. It's let's time. It. This is what I was born to do. <laughs> is that sad <laughs> it's kind of yeah. a little depressing yeah <laughs> just this a little is my, bit. my bread and butter talking about <laughs> ADL teams on the internet like let's go i'm ready let's go what do we got first <laughs> havoc flyers <laughs> yeah havoc flyers the flyers spank the havoc mm -hmm. um that was literally expected. yeah literally what does that mean nothing Right. This is this is a case of like let let's say that this tier list is a hundred percent accurate. The B team should do this to the F team, you know. Mm. Yeah. This doesn't change anything. I didn't did anyone watch this game? No. Mm -mm. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I will yeah. say wa watching the game, like looking at the score is so different from like watching the game. You get such a different vibe. Like, but this is a terrible this oh, is bad. For sure. I don't know what I would take from this, like Mm -hmm. you know it helps to an extent but anyway um yeah whatever we're just gonna let's move, move right on, on by let's, let's never think about this ever again please. yeah that didn't happen <laughs> didn't happen um all right first game saturday i i watched a couple of points of this but it was also during like college stuff so i was mostly watching that but we got an actual frisbee score here mm -hmm. 15 to 12 that's exciting all, all canada matchup yeah oh um this was the second matchup and it had the same result um last time toronto or sorry montreal had more uh completions right even though they had a lost, better i think they had a better throwing percentage they had a better percentage that was the thing yeah i mean Did yeah they, i mean i think it was both probably or well, yeah, yeah. Did they do that again? No, <laughs> not eighty-two percent. Come on, that's that's pretty bad. That's that's not good. That's not what you want to see. Not a winning formula. And the um, rush wasn't great either. What were they? Eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Yeah, also they not, it, also. not also not very good. If you're below, like I think like ninety is like you should try to be above ninety at least ninety-one. Mm -hmm. um, well, funny, um, funny you say ninety-one. Because if you look at this next game, that's exactly what Detroit threw. So Detroit threw ninety one. Good. Detroit for threw ninety one. Well, this game was close for a long time. That's wild. I know. Yeah, ninety one percent. Um. Yeah, it was. I want to say it was like a one point game in the third at one point. Um, that's fucking crazy. What the hell happened? And then how did the windshield pull away? I think just like Detroit it happened. Just... Yeah, just regression <laughs> to the mean. Yeah. And also, like, the, I don't know. Minnesota, the school was at Nationals. Michigan, yeah. the school was at Nationals. I don't know, you know, the relative impacts those had on those two teams. But I would mm – -hmm. it's hard to, like, put a ton of weight into this game. I don't know. 
I almost say like nudge Minnesota down just just because what the hell? Just because like, they why, why were you within one? Why were you within one of like literally the worst team ever? <laughs> <laughs> not, not just the worst. Not even just the worst team in this league, but like the worst team in all of professional sports ever. Yeah, over yeah. a span of like six years. Yeah. Not just this year, not just last year, <laughs> not just the year before. And you were within one with them. What the hell? <laughs> that you go yeah. down. You go down one spot. Come on. That's Honestly. fair. That's fair. That's fair. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to stand in the way of that. Um, but yeah, other than a little nudge, I don't see taking much from that. Yeah. Um, I do think then, this next game is a little indicative of things. Uh, yeah. I have a lot uh, to say. Go ahead, yeah, Sam. You, yeah. you go first. I was you just going to say, Andrew, you put it really well in our group chat when you called uh, Philly the chameleon team. I didn't say it in the group. I said it... Um, I did say it in the group chat, but I said it in the uh, um, the last Ryan's lines episode. Oh, there and you I, go. I took I took T Birds to cover the spread, which they did, and I said because everyone was really high on Philly because their mm-hmm. quality loss to like the fucking Empire and the Breeze, and I was like, this team just plays exactly how the other team plays. They don't like get <laughs> shit done, and they're, then the T Birds are going to cover the spread, and they fucking did, and exactly like what I thought happened. I feel so validated. Um, okay. I have a couple things. I have two like big tangents to go on. I, I don't know where to start, but like, okay. My first thing is like, this tier list is not, um, like indicative of your record necessarily. Like record Mm -hmm. is a big part of it, but like people were mad at us that the shred wasn't higher because they were like, because of the record, you know? Yeah. And then people were also mad at us that Philly... I guess people were also mad that Philly wasn't higher. They were like, best 0-4 team, best blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah. guys, Philly is like, bottom of C is like right where they belong. Like, and please, if like, if you, if you were like mad at us about them being here um, after like our last tier list, like just watch this game, watch this game and tell me this team doesn't belong to be bottom of C. Like we're doing them a fucking favor by not putting them in D. Like I swear to God, did you did you guys watch any of this game? Yeah, I watched a good amount. What I watched a too? little bit of it. What did you guys think? What did you guys think? It was just not pretty. It was just like a lot of turnovers, a lot of bad decisions. I it down. It was horrendous. <laughs> I don't feel like Philly seems like they have a system like they did last year. I feel like last year their offense made sense and it flowed well. And they were like clearly the third best team in the division, but competitive against the breeze every single time. And obviously still competitive against the breeze and against the empire. But I don't feel like watching them seems like a high functioning system anymore. I don't know what their system is, honestly. And yeah, I, um, I, I'll say this. If you, if they hadn't played the Empire yet, and then I watched this game just in a vacuum, just didn't know anything about the, either of the teams, and then you told me that, um, or if like we did a Ryan's lines, and then one of y'all said, I think the Phoenix are going to take Empire to overtime. I would, I would like not let you come on this podcast again. I would like be like, what the, you don't know what you're talking about like this team is going to take the empire to like overtime like no fucking way you know because they they the uh, like pull, pull up the stats like how many turns did they have like they had so many crummy like how are they 95 17 just a ton of throws mm. so yeah, many 17 throws. But their turns were like bad like when they turned it it was just like it was bad and the only reason that pittsburgh lost is because they ran out of time like pittsburgh had all the momentum the entire second half like pittsburgh is bad don't get me wrong like they are bad and a bad team they were down by like six um or whatever they're down for like by six for like a lot of the game and it was like yeah this game's over and then they just like fucking outplayed philly 
for the the um i don't know definitely the fourth quarter as you can like obviously tell but it just felt like they outplayed philly like the whole second half and they just ran out of time Mm -hmm. and philly like philly just like stumbled blindly into a victory like it was crazy um i don't know this made me this just gave this gave me a bad taste in my mouth for philly um this game yeah i i know i know they had a a super windy game against the empire where they only put up like eight but they're also averaging less than 16 points a game right now i am shocked that there was a 95 percent completion percentage and that like did not help my argument at all (laughs) like that's crazy (laughs) how is that possible like how do i have such how did i walk away with such a like a low opinion and they actually lead in 95 percent of the passes I, don't know. I think a lot, I think a lot of their turns came on Hux and just uh, were, are more visible turns than there was some know, bad like short little... field. There was some bad like should be an easy reset turn. Oh, for sure. Like, I don't know. For sure. I, I yeah. I don't know. I think they 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 live and die by the Huck. And last year there's a lot more living by it. And this year there's a lot more dying by it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um. Max Shepard had a great game. That guy's really good. He's yeah, he's actually good. I I I really like Max Shepard. He was like when they when when Pittsburgh started clicking and coming back, it was like Max Shepard was like scoring and um yeah. he's he's very good. He's very good. Um and Phoenix, I, I don't know. It just feels like they're underutilizing James Pollard. Like he should be in the mix a lot more than he is. That was going to be my last comment on the game is there should never be a Philly game where he leaves the team and assists. Yeah. He, he, do, he doesn't need the disc in his hand that unless, unless his assists are like, he came down with a huck a yard or two from the goal line. Like he's a good thrower. Don't get me wrong. He is. He's he an is excellent an elite cutter. Find yeah. him in the end zone. There's just no, there's no reason he should lead the team in assists. Yeah, I totally agree. Like they need to just like adjust whatever their game plan is on O because like he, he was burning people yeah. all game and they just like, they just kind of weren't finding him or like maybe, maybe his time there, there's like a chemistry problem or something, but like um, it just felt like he was there and the Hucks just like, were not even like when yeah. they went up, they didn't go up very often. And when they went up, they were off. And it was just like, you got to find mm-hmm. this guy. Like that's, that's, that's their key basically is like, yeah. let this guy dominate his matchup. And, yeah. um, and you can build around that. Like to, if, if, if he goes and just fucking starts going off, then everyone's like, we got to contain James Pollard. And then your other players get to like, you know, get to shine a little bit more. It's like, it kind of starts with him, you know, and they did not do that at all this game. And mm-hmm. I don't know. Philly Does, stinky. Um, yeah, if you ask me the... right now, I want them in D so badly, and you guys can fight to keep them up. But like, fuck, man, I don't know. But they they they, they won, so we can't move them down. But man, I don't know. We're yeah. being very generous. I want everyone to know that we're being very generous by not having them in D right now. <laughs> I know they they do look like a D team a lot of the time. I don't I don't know. But yeah, it's it's tough to move them down without like a some sort of catalyst. Can we game. have me back to back of me like preseason being so high on them and saying they <laughs> like, and, then, and then this like it's crazy. I've swung so hard on them. Um, does this mean anything for Pittsburgh for you guys? Well, I guess it could be helpful to talk about Union Radicals along with it since Pittsburgh and the Radicals are right next to each other. Pittsburgh is still I. I think Pittsburgh is better than the Radicals. Mm, they did win the, yeah. the matchup. I think realistically, Pittsburgh does not win in Madison. Yeah, they and, probably trade. And if they played again in Pittsburgh, I think it would be up in the air. And I think I would give both teams at their best I'd give it to the radicals, but like just in a in a in a toss up, I don't I don't really know. I don't really know who I give that to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe we just gotta we gotta see more. Cause I I'm kind of in the same spot with them. I think the radicals are probably better, but we just haven't seen it. Yeah. Um yeah. But the the two games I watched probably the most of this weekend were the the Union Radicals game and then the um 
Union wind chill game, which I think we get another of next week. I think really? Again, Union wind chill. Yeah, I think they play in Minnesota next week. That's fascinating. Okay. Yeah. The Union have have they've had such a weird schedule because they had they played like no games. Yeah. And then and then in the week where college nationals happens and like half the league is at college nationals then like they get two games like mm. that's, that's that's weird i don't know like it just makes it harder to like understand them as a team totally which is our I, entire um, effort here yeah <laughs> i yeah it's it's hard to know what to take away especially against minnesota like minnesota is really depleted so you can't take too much from that but chicago mm-hmm. did look really really good in that game like mm-hmm. they got off to a huge start um I don't know. I think I have them over Boston in my head tier list. Ooh. I think I have them over every single team in C. Oh yeah. If I'm if I'm being honest, yeah. I, I think the spiders are the are the only ones in my head that I think there's an argument for. I think the aviators are probably the better team, but have not looked it. I think the glory have looked it and are definitely not a better team. Um, I think the Union have shown, I don't know, they lost their first game. They lost the Alley Cats, right? It was like a one or two mm-hmm. point game. And then I think they've looked like a pretty solid team since. I think I think basically like every single team in the Central is just like good. Not great, yeah. but, but like good. And I think the Union are as good as minnesota and as indy i think all three of those teams are like basically the same i don't know what that means for tears right now like who deserves to be higher but i think by the end of the season those three teams are gonna be the ones who make the playoffs and they're all gonna be pretty similar levels yeah i feel that i think yeah i just look at the aviators ahead of the glory and the union who both have better records um and it just kind of makes well better records. It's all like, kind of relative, and like yeah. Union. I don't think I don't think the Union have played as many games as either of those two teams. Like they've played three they're short, only. They're, they're short by like one or two. Um, I'm trying to like think like what is keeping the Aviators above them, and the only thing is kind of like their potential to like yeah. get together and be better. But it's like, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm maybe I'm leaning like give these teams a little bit of credit, but like I I don't think we should move the glory above the aviators necessarily because nothing has happened but i think the union to me like they kind of laid an egg against indy in their first game and then just seeing them kind of bounce back like this and then take care of business this week kind of shows me that they have this kind of i think their coaching is really good like i think they have the ability to like make adjustments and like figure shit out um and that kind of it just makes me have a lot more faith in them. Um, and, you know, I don't know. I think they should be rewarded for their performance this weekend. I thought they 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 could have just gone and had some bad games and looked the same, but they looked a little bit better. I, I tuned into um, parts of um, both of those games, and I just thought they looked like a, a real team, and they looked solid. So Yeah. I think my argument for them and the Spiders is that the Spiders – played a close game and lost against the shred and that's their Mm -hmm. one loss but then their wins are against the cascades and the nitro yeah and two of them were by one point and like i think i I, i'm i think oakland is actually solid i they have i think a double header this weekend against shred and summit and i think they're going to go oh and two and I still think they're going to be a solid team with a bunch of solid handlers on there but uh, the Union just beat a team that we have in B. They lost to the Alley Cats, who are also in B. But I don't know. Like, we talk about quality wins, and, like, Nitro and Cascades are not quality wins. As as mm-hmm. good as I think Oakland looks, I think the Union still look better. Yeah, I think my only mm-hmm. counter would be the like version of minnesota that it was this week was like not super fair, fair. exciting um i mean they did I'm, have a yeah, lot I'm of cool. big name I'm guys cool either way. 
yeah i feel like it's tough for us because we don't know like dick about anybody <laughs> yeah. and they minnesota like had their like four or five big name guys that we know and then like for all we know like you know guys six through 20 are gone and we just we yeah. don't know what the fuck for we're sure. talking about so for sure for sure yeah disclaimer um, we we really don't know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> yeah i don't know <laughs> i i don't hate union over spiders i just i think it's maybe like a, a big jump for uh the spiders not playing and then like the opponents the union had but yeah, also that's, yeah yeah, I think, but also yeah. like we weren't necessarily right about them last week, so who cares how big of a jump it was? Yeah, I, I will <laughs> say like, and this might just be a testament to like divisions and the the West scoring more than the Central, but like all of the Spiders games are like twenty five, twenty six, you know, twenty four to twenty, twenty five, twenty seven, and the Unions are all like eighteen, sixteen, sixteen, twelve. Like the spiders are putting up scores. They're they're getting down the field and putting it in, and obviously they're giving up more scores too. But you know, I, I I've been very impressed by the spiders so far. Mm-hmm. Okay. I kind of want to put like I hear I hear what you're saying, Joe. I just think that like I kind of want to pump the brakes a little bit just because like we haven't really it's kind of a small sample size and the sample size is like, you know, kind of the question mark, like Minnesota, we don't really know what's going on with their team. Like it's college nationals. And like, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm happy with like leaving this as it is. And then just seeing how the spiders do next week, how the union, like, you know what I mean? I think it would be a bit of an overreaction to like put them at top of C, but again, that's totally fair. I don't even know which way I'm arguing. I feel like I'm going back and forth on just praising both teams and and saying which one deserves to be higher. I don't. I don't really know where I stand. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, the classic like thought experiment could be like neutral field, head to head right now. Who wins? I, but maybe the I Union no wins. Idea. I have maybe no the, idea. Yeah, who, who <laughs> no. fucking knows? I don't think. I don't think any of us could actually confidently be like, I know. Who would win this game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking at Spiders merch right now, and I'm I'm about to drop some money there. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, they're hat. They're they have a fucking like really sick like snapback yeah. like hat. Yeah, they've got some sweet that. shit that like wasn't even up last year too. I'm no I'm way. buying merch. I'm buying merch right now. They, well, their logo is, that. is okay. Sick. Well, hold on. Uh, Austin clap the Legion. Hustle clap yeah. havoc. Okay, who cares? We did that. I want to look at some merch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's go to their let's go to their merch. All right, so this is our our tier list, I suppose. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, I think that's fair. Merch, merch, yes, merch, dude. Yeah, wait, look at their discs. Look at their discs. Look at that first one. Oof. And then look at the second to last one. Eight legs, one heart. I fucking oh, love that. I love this I'm, little guy. I'm I'm, I'm buying awesome. that. I, I've I've added it to my cart. It's the perfect amount of like they have like their silly goofy ones, and then they have ones that like look like could be like a metal band like t shirt yeah. or something. Like yeah, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah, I love it. That's pretty good, you know. Pretty good prices, I guess. 15 bucks right. for a disc. Mm-hmm. Commercial's over. Episode's over? Yeah, we're going to end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Episode's we gotta over. Do, we got to do lines. Episode's over. Good. Episode. Go away. Don't go. Yeah. Go to, <laughs> go to shop. Uh, Ringer the ulti. Dot whatever. Dot com. Yeah. Go to shop. Dot Oakland spiders. Dot com slash collections slash discs. <laughs> uh, I'm open. I'm, I'm open. open. I'm open. I'm open.